for round one. We're going to begin with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop, and now we'll chain one to secure the yarn and do six single crochet into that magic circle. So reach through, bring up your loop, grab your yarn, pull through two. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now you'll grab the tail, give it a pull and place your stitch marker. And at this point you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each of the stitches. So go into that first stitch, do your first single crochet, go back into the same stitch, do another single crochet, and that is your increase. And so you're going to increase in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. For round three, you'll do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. So here's one single crochet then one increase and you'll repeat that all the way around one single crochet one increase one single crochet one increase and continue to repeat until you reach the end of the round at which point you should have 18 stitches For round four, you're going to do a repeating sequence of two single crochet followed by one increase. One, two, increase. And then you'll repeat that all the way around. Two single crochet, one increase, two single crochet, one increase, and continue repeating until you reach the end of the round, at which point you should have 24 stitches. Round five has a repeating sequence of three single crochet, followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, increase. And then you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. Three single crochet, one increase. And continue to repeat this until you've reached the end of the round, at which point you should have 30 stitches. For round six, you'll do a repeating sequence of four single crochet followed by one increase. One, two, three, four, increase. And you're going to repeat that all the way around, four single crochet, one increase, four single crochet, one increase. Continue repeating that until you've reached the end of the round. And at that point, you should have 36 stitches. The repeating sequence for round seven will be five single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, increase. 
and you'll continue to repeat this all the way around five single crochet one increase five single crochet one increase continuing all the way until you've reached the end of the round and you should end up with 42 stitches for round eight your repeating sequence will be six single crochet followed by one increase Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one increase. And you'll repeat this all the way around, six single crochet, one increase, continuing to repeat six single crochet, one increase, until you reach the end of the round at which point you should have 48 stitches. For round nine, you'll do a repeating sequence of seven single crochet, followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, increase. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way around, seven single crochet, one increase, repeating until you reach the end of the round, at which point you'll have four, 54 stitches. For round 10, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch, all the way around and once you've reached the end of round 10 you should still have 54 stitches and here I'm come to the end of round 10 and I will remove the stitch marker and I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch and tie off and then you'll cut your yarn and weave in that beginning tail and this tail For round one, we're going to begin with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop. And now we'll chain one to secure the yarn and do six single crochet into that magic circle. So reach through, bring up your loop, grab your yarn, pull through two. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now you'll grab the tail, give it a pull, and place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each of the stitches. So go into that first stitch, do your first single crochet, go back into the same stitch, do another single crochet, and that is your increase. And so you're going to increase in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. For round three, you'll do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. So here's one single crochet, then one increase, and you'll repeat that all the way around. One single crochet, one increase, one single crochet, one increase and continue to repeat until you reach the end of the round at which point you should have 18 stitches for round four you're going to do a repeating sequence of two single crochet followed by one increase one two 
increase. And then you'll repeat that all the way around two single crochet, one increase, two single crochet, one increase, and continue repeating until you reach the end of the round, at which point you should have 24 stitches. Round five has a repeating sequence of three single crochet, followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, increase. And then you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. Three single crochet, one increase. And continue to repeat this until you've reached the end of the round, at which point you should have 30 stitches. For round six, you'll do a repeating sequence of four single crochet followed by one increase. One, two, three, four, increase. And you're going to repeat that all the way around, four single crochet, one increase, four single crochet, one increase. Continue repeating that until you've reached the end of the round. And at that point, you should have 36 stitches. The repeating sequence for round seven will be five single crochet, followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, increase. And you'll continue to repeat this all the way around, five single crochet, one increase, five single crochet, one increase, continuing all the way until you've reached the end of the round and you should end up with 42 stitches. For round eight, your repeating sequence will be six single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one increase. And you'll repeat this all the way around, six single crochet, one increase, continuing to repeat six single crochet, one increase, until you reach the end of the round, at which point you should have 48 stitches. For round nine, you'll do a repeating sequence of seven single crochet, followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, increase. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way around, seven single crochet, one increase, repeating until you reach the end of the round, at which point you'll have four, 54 stitches. For rounds 10 and 11, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of round 11, you should still have 54 stitches. For round 12, we're going to be working in the back loop only. So instead of coming through and going under both loops, you're going to go just in that back loop, leaving the front loop unworked 
and we're going to do one single crochet in each of the back loops all the way around. So one single crochet in the back loop only. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have 54 stitches. For round 13, we're going to do a repeating sequence of seven single crochet followed by one decrease. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now you'll do one decrease. So go into the stitch, bring up your loop, go into the following stitch, bring up a loop, grab your yarn, and pull through all three loops, and that is your decrease. So you're going to repeat this section all the way around. So seven single crochet, one decrease, seven single crochet, one decrease, continuing to repeat that until you get to the end of the round, at which point you should have 48 stitches. For round 14, your repeating sequence, will be six single crochet followed by one decrease. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then decrease. And you're going to repeat this all the way around, six single crochet, one decrease, repeating that all the way to the end of the round, at which point you should have 42 stitches. For round 15, your repeating sequence will be five single crochet followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, four, five, decrease. So repeat this all the way around, and once you've reached the end of the round, you should have 36 stitches. For round 16, your repeating sequence will be four single crochet, followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, four, decrease. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way around, four single crochet, one decrease, continuing to repeat. And once you reach the end of the round, you should have 30 stitches. For round 17, your repeating sequence will be three single crochet, followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, decrease. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way until you've reached the end of the round, at which point you should have 24 stitches. For round 18, we're going to do a repeating sequence of two single crochet followed by the decrease. There's one and two, and then do your decrease. And you'll just keep repeating that all the way around. Two single crochet, one decrease, and continue repeating two single crochet and one decrease until the end of the round, at which point you'll have 18 stitches. Before you begin round 19, we're going to add just a little bit of stuffing and flatten it out. So just a small amount of stuffing, just to give it a little bit of softness and it should lay pretty flat. 
And now for round 19, your repeating sequence will be one single crochet followed by one decrease. And you're going to do that all the way around one single crochet followed by one decrease. And once you've reached the end of round 19, you should have 12 stitches. For round 20, I've removed my stitch marker and we're going to just decrease all the way around until we have closed up this hole. And so you'll just keep decreasing until the hole gets to the point where you can't fit any more decreases. And continue to decrease. I think I can do a few more. One more here, and then we'll finish this. So once it gets nice and small, you'll take your hook into the next stitch and go straight across and do a slip stitch. Move to the next stitch, go straight across, do a slip stitch, and then you'll tie off, cut your yarn, And then you can just squish it down to where it's flat and then weave in that tail. And here we have our front and back pieces of the purse. The front piece should be, have a little bit of stuffing but just enough to where it kind of has a shape of a disc. And we're going to begin round one of joining the front and back by using the unused loops of round 12. So insert your hook into one of the unused loops of round 12 and join your yarn. We're going to chain one to secure. And then you'll do a single crochet into that same loop. And then do one single crochet in each of the unused loops from round 12. So just do one single crochet in each of the unused loops from round 12. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have 54 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round one. And now we're going to attach the back of the purse to the front of the purse. So place with the right side facing out, so your wrong sides together. And you're going to be working through both the stitches on the back and the stitches on the front. And we're going to do 27 single crochet. So put your hook through the stitches on the back back of the purse and through the stitch on the front of the purse and do your single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, and twenty-seven. So once you have twenty-seven single crochets, working through the stitches of both the back and the front, we're going to end this round right here and place the stitch marker. For round three, we're going to be working in the stitches. We're going to do 27 single crochets on the unused stitches of the back of the purse. And then we'll jump over here to the first unused stitch on the front of the purse and then do another 27 single crochets until you've come back here to where your stitch marker is. So beginning in the next unused stitch on the back of the purse, Start doing your 27 single crochets. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So there's the 27 single crochets on the back of the purse. And now we will jump over here to the front of the purse and beginning in the first unused stitch. You will start doing another 27 single crochets all the way until you come back here at the end of the round. So there's one, two, three, four, Oopsie. There's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. So now that I have 27 stitches on each side, we're going to move that stitch marker and at this point going all the way around you should have 54 stitches for round four you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around so your first stitch will be this first unused stitch here or the first stitch of round three there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And now we're coming where we jumped from the one side to the next. There's 27, 28, and then just keep continuing all the way around. And so you'll just keep doing one single crochet all the way up until you get back to your stitch marker. And at that point, you should have a total of 54 stitches. And here I've come to the end of the round. Remove the stitch marker. And I'm going to skip this next stitch and then slip stitch into the following stitch and tie off and then you'll cut your yarn and weave in your two tails and here we have the beginning shape of our coin purse once you have finished with all of your stitches, we're going to attach our 8.5 centimeter purse clasp. And this one is on hinges. We're going to attach that to our purse using a thread and needle. And I prefer to use the curved needle. It just makes it a little bit easier but you can use a straight one if that's all you have. So I've threaded my needle to where once it's doubled up, I've got four strands and that just helps to make it extra strong. And I've attached it. When looking at the fold, I went up one, two, three, about four or five stitches up and that's where we're going to be starting to attach our purse clasp. 
So I'm going to go through the stitch, bring my thread through, and take my purse clasp, and you'll see these little holes on the one side, the other side doesn't have them. And we're going to go into the second hole to get started. So I'm gonna go through the second hole, bring my thread through, and we're going to slide the edge into this groove that's here between the front and the back of this side. So there's this groove here. You're going to pull your thread nice and tight and slide the top of those stitches into that groove. And then go through and then so we came up through this one and now we're going to go down through the one to the right of it and go down at an angle so that way you're catching the stitch and going through the stitch and then pull tight. And for this first one, I like to do that twice into the same holes. So I'm gonna go through a stitch Pull my thread through, take my needle, come up through that first hole that we used, pull nice and tight, and then come to the stitch to the right, go through, make sure you're going through the actual purse, and pull tight. Now you can double up all the way through, but I have found that if I just double up every once in a while, it seems to work okay. So now we're going to move to the next stitch in the purse. Bring the yarn needle through. Pull it tight. And then we're going to move to the one to the left of the last hole that we were using. And come up through that one. And then come over here to this hole that we used before and go through. Make sure you're pulling nice and tight so you can keep that edge up into the groove. And then you're going to just continue to do this all the way across. So moving to the next stitch, bring my yarn through, go to the next hole to the left, pull the yarn through, And then go back down through this hole to the right, making sure I'm catching the stitches of the purse when I do that, and pull tight. And so you're just going to continue to do that all the way around your purse. And it'll be bunching up a little bit as you're going, where it'll feel like you're bunching up. But you'll just continue to do that. And then when you get here to the edge, take your fold and you'll be stopping about four or five stitches away from the fold. And so that'll be your placement of that. And then you'll bring your thread through and repeat the process on the other side. And here I have finished sewing 
my clasp onto the purse. And as you can see, I've gone all the way around. And then once I've reached the end of the round, I just tied a knot and hid the tail of that yarn inside some of the stitches. And it opens and closes. And so there we go. We have attached the clasp to the purse. For the muzzle, we'll be using the white yarn and the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And we will begin by doing a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop, and chain one to secure the yarn. Now we're going to do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five, and six. And now you'll grab that tail and give it a pull and then place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we'll be doing one increase in each stitch. And to do your increase, you'll insert your hook, bring up the loop and do a single crochet. Now you'll go back into that same stitch and do another single crochet. And that is your increase. So two single crochets into the stitch makes the increase. And now you'll just increase in each stitch all the way around. And once you reach the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. For round three, you'll be doing a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. And you're going to continue to repeat that all the way around. So one single crochet, one increase, one single crochet, one increase. Continue to repeat this until you've reached the end of the round and you should end up with 18 stitches. For round four, your repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by one increase. So there's one, two, and then one increase. And you'll be repeating this all the way around. Two single crochet, followed by one increase. And continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And once you've reached the end of the round, you should have 24 stitches. For round five, we'll begin with two single crochet. Here's one, two. Now we're going to do two increases. So there's one increase and two increases. Now we'll do 10 single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We'll follow that with two increases. So there's one increase and two increases. Next, we will do eight single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven and eight. And that brings us to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have 28 stitches. Six and seven. You're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of round seven, you should still have 28 stitches. For round eight, your repeating sequence will be five single crochet followed by one decrease. So here's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we'll do a decrease, so insert your hook, bring up your loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, bring up your loop, grab your yarn, and pull through all three loops. And that is your decrease, and you're going to continue to repeat this all the way around. So repeating five single crochet and one decrease. And once you've reached the end of the round, you should have 24 stitches. For round nine, your repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by one decrease. So there's one, two, and then do one decrease. And so you're going to continue to repeat that all the way around. Two single crochet and one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one decrease until you come to the end of the round, at which point you should end up with 18 stitches. For round 10, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to this, the end of this round, you should still have 18 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round 10. I'm going to go ahead and remove that stitch marker. And now we'll just slip stitch into the next stitch and tie off. And when you cut your yarn, make sure you're leaving a long enough tail for sewing. And then we need to go ahead and turn the work inside out so we can weave in that beginning tail. So thread your yarn needle, and give it a pull to make sure it's closed up, and then just take the yarn needle under a couple of the stitches, and then snip off the excess. And now you can turn it right side out again and there is the muzzle ready to attach. To attach the muzzle, we're going to be placing it in the center of the front of the purse. And now you'll just take your yarn needle and insert your hook into a stitch of the front of the purse and then we're going to come up through a stitch in the muzzle through a stitch in the purse and up through the muzzle through the stitch in the purse and up through a stitch in the muzzle and here I'm back to where I started so to finish off, we're just going to take the yarn needle under a stitch, and before you pull it all the way through, take your yarn needle through that loop, pull it tight to make your knot, and then just take your yarn needle and push it through. And then you'll just snip off the excess yarn And there we have attached the muzzle to the purse. 
to add the nostrils and mouth to the muzzle. I'm gonna cut a long piece of black yarn and we'll start by putting a slip knot on one end. I don't wanna close that up all the way. And then the other end you will thread into your yarn needle Now we're going to start with one of the nostrils. So we're gonna go under one of the stitches. And when you get to that slip knot, you'll run your needle through there, tighten it up, and then pull the yarn through. And this tail will weave in later. So now we're gonna go back down through the um, stitch that we started with. And I'm gonna come down here, a couple of rows at a little bit of an angle and we'll add the mouth. And then for the mouth, we're just going to follow this line that was created by that row. And you're gonna go back through the stitch you just came out of, come out the next stitch, and before you pull it all the way through, you're gonna run your needle through the loop, and then pull tight. Now we're gonna go back through the stitch we already used and come out the next one and continue the same process. So before you pull it all the way tight, run your needle through and then you can pull it tight. So we're just gonna keep doing this for a few stitches and we're just gonna give him a little half smile for this time. Now we're gonna go down through the next stitch. And then we're going to put our second nostril. So you'll bring your yarn needle up. Pull. And then just go down through the stitch, the hole right above it. Come back out the stitch that you just went through. And we're gonna tie off here. So take your yarn needle through there and pull tight to create the knot. And then to hide the tail, we're just gonna go down through and run that tail through the muzzle a few times. I'm gonna go back through where I just came out so that way that doesn't show. And you're not pulling super tight as you're weaving this in. But I like to go through a few times and that will cause the yarn to wrap around that stuffing that's in there. And then you'll just snip off the excess and then that tail We'll hide inside the muzzle. There we go. So now you can't see that. And now we'll take this beginning tail and hide this one inside the muzzle. So you'll just run it through the hole that you already used. And if you pull tight, that'll pop that knot down inside. And I'm just gonna run this through a couple of times, just like we did with the other one. And 
snip off the excess. And then that'll hide that tail inside the muzzle. And there we have added our nostrils. I should have pulled that one just a little tighter, but there's the idea of it. So there's our nostrils and our mouth. And now we're ready to add the eyes. For the eyes, we'll be using the white yarn and the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And we'll make a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop, chain one to secure. And the eyes only have one round. So we'll be doing six single crochet into that magic circle, two, three, four, five, and six. And now you'll just grab that tail. And when you pull it, you don't want to close that hole up completely because we're going to be putting the safety eye through that hole. And so now you'll just come to that first stitch you did and do a slip stitch and tie off. And then cut your yarn, leaving a bit of a tail for sewing. This one's really small, so you don't need a whole lot. And now we'll weave in that beginning tail. And so to weave in, you're just gonna go under a couple of the stitches making sure not to pull the hole too tight because you want to leave space for that safety eye. And then we'll just cut off the excess. And now we're ready to add the safety eye. To attach the safety eyes, you're going to take the eye and it's got this post and you're going to put it through the center And then just take your backing and pop it onto the back of the post. And this is just an old stylus that I removed the tip from and it works pretty good for popping those on. So you just push down until the backing is popped into place. And there we have our safety eye. And now we're ready to attach the eyes to the purse. To attach the eyes, you're going to thread your yarn needle, and I've already got one fully attached, and we're just a couple of rows up from the muzzle, making sure our clasp is centered. And then you're just going to take your yarn needle, go under a stitch in the purse, up through stitch in the eye, and you're going to go down through the next stitch of the eye and under a stitch in the purse. Come up through the next stitch of the eye and then down through the next stitch under a stitch in the purse. up through the next stitch of the eye, down through the next stitch of the eye, and under a stitch in the purse, and then back up through the next stitch of the eye, and I'm going to take my yarn needle under a stitch in the purse and tie off. So before you pull that all the way through, take your yarn needle and go through that loop and pull tight to make the knot. And then you're gonna take your yarn needle and just poke it through, making sure you're not going all the way through. 
So just through the stuffing and then snip off the excess and that will hide the tail. And there we have added the eyes to our purse. For the horns, we're going to be using a tan yarn and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and begin with a magic circle. So wrap your yarn around your fingers, bring up your loop, and then chain one to secure. And then we're going to do seven single crochet into this magic circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now you'll grab that tail and give it a pull and that closes up the hole. And at the end of this round, you should have seven stitches. For rounds two and three, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of round three, you should still have seven stitches. And here I've come to the end of round three. I'm gonna remove that stitch marker and slip stitch into the next stitch and then tie off and cut the yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. Pull that through. And then I'm going to turn my work inside out so I can weave in that beginning tail. So pull nice and tight to make sure the hole is closed up. Thread the yarn needle. And then just run that needle under a couple of the stitches or through a couple of the stitches and that will help to make sure it's nice and secure and then turn it right side out again and there is our tiny little horn you can add stuffing to this but i think it'll hold its shape just fine without it and so you want to make two of these To attach the horns, we're going to center them a couple of rows above the eyes. And I've already got one attached, and so now I'm going to do the next one. So we're going to go under a stitch in the purse and up through the stitch in the horn. And then you're just going to continue to do that all the way around. So under a stitch in the purse up through a stitch in the horn. Continuing to do this all the way around until you get back to where you started. And here I've come all the way around and to finish off, I'm just going to go under a stitch in the purse and before pulling it all the way through, take the yarn needle through that loop and then we can pull nice and tight to make the knot. And then we'll just take this yarn needle and poke it through the front of the purse. Make sure I'm not going all the way to the inside. And pull, snip off the excess, and that hides that tail. So there are the horns attached to the purse. For the ears, we're going to be using our white yarn and the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and begin with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop, and then chain one to secure your yarn. And now you'll do six single crochets for round one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, 
and six. Grab that tail and pull. And now you'll place your stitch marker and at this point you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to be doing a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. So go into that first stitch. And here's one single crochet and then one increase. And then you're going to continue to repeat that all the way around. One single crochet, one increase, one single crochet, and one increase. And at this point, you should have nine stitches. For round three, you're going to do a repeating sequence of two single crochet followed by one increase. So there's one, two, increase. And then you're going to repeat that all the way around, two single crochet, one increase, two single crochet, and one increase. And that brings us to the end of the round. And at this point, you should have 12 stitches. For round four, your repeating sequence will be three single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, and one increase. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So three single crochet, two, three, one increase, and repeat one more time three single crochet, and one increase, and that brings us to the end of the round, and at this point you should have 15 stitches. Before you begin round five, now is a good time to weave in that beginning tail, so turn your work inside out, thread your yarn needle, Go ahead and pull to make sure you've got it nice and tight. And then you just take your needle through a couple of the stitches just to make sure it stays secure. And then snip off the excess. And then I'll fix my stitch marker. And for round five, we're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of this round, you should still have 15 stitches. For round six, your repeating sequence will be three single crochet followed by one decrease. Here's one, two, three, and now we'll do a decrease. So go into the next stitch, bring up your loop, go to the following stitch, bring up your loop, and then grab your yarn and pull through all three loops, and that is a decrease. And you're going to repeat this all the way around. So three single crochet, two, three, 
decrease and repeat again. One, oopsie. There's one, two, three, decrease. And that brings us to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have 12 stitches. For round seven, your repeating sequence will be two single crochet, followed by one decrease. There's one, two, decrease, and repeat. One, two, decrease, repeat one more time. One, two, and decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have nine stitches. For round eight, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you reach the end of this round, you should still have nine stitches. For round nine, we're going to remove that stitch marker and we do not stuff the ears. And so to finish the ear, you're going to take it and fold it flat and we'll be working through both sides. So the stitches on both sides, take your hook and go through the stitches on both sides and do a single crochet, move to the next one, making sure you go through the stitches on both sides and single crochet. And then when you get to that last stitch, you'll go through both sides and do a slip stitch and tie off. And when you cut your yarn, leave a long enough tail for sewing. And here we go. Our ear is ready to attach and you need to make two of these. To attach the ears, you'll thread your yarn needle. And I've already got one attached and it's attached to this, the same line that the back of the horns lined up. So you're lining it up with the back of the horns just to the side. So you'll take your yarn needle and lining it up with that same line that the back of the horn was. We're gonna go under a stitch in the purse. Oops, got caught on the other ear. There we go, under a stitch in the purse, and then up through the stitch in the ear, and just continue to follow that same line under a stitch in the purse. And then up through the stitch in the ear, under a stitch in the purse, Up through the stitch in the ear and then the stitch in the purse and my yarn came out of the needle there we go so we just went through the purse so now we'll come through this last stitch of the ear and then we'll just go under a stitch in the purse to tie off and before you pull it all the way through take your yarn needle through that loop and pull nice and tight and I'm just going to take that yarn needle and poke it through the stuffing part making sure I didn't go through to the inside and then we'll hide our tail in here and snip off the excess and there we go, we have attached the ears to the cow. 
for the spots, you're going to use your 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, the black yarn, just wrap the yarn around your fingers to make the magic circle. Chain one to secure. And now we'll do six single crochet into that magic circle. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then just give that tail a pull and to close, you'll just slip stitch into that first stitch that you did. And then tie off. And you'll make two of these. And when you cut your yarn, leave a long enough tail for sewing. And then for this beginning tail, just thread your yarn needle and weave it in. Make sure you've got it tight to where the hole is closed up and then you'll just run that needle under a couple of the stitches and then snip off the excess yarn. And there is one of the spots and so you're making two of these. To attach the spots to the cow, you'll thread your yarn needle I went ahead and I put one up here by the ear and I think I'll put the other one down here towards the side. And when you place this on there, it's kind of hard to see with the back, but the side where I wove in my end, you want to make sure that side is the one that's up against the purse so that way you don't have that tail piece showing. And so we're going to do the same thing that we did with the eyes where you'll go under under, there we go, under a stitch in the purse and then up through a stitch in the spot. Go to the next stitch of the spot, go down through that one and then under a stitch in the purse. Move to the next stitch, go up and then down through the next one. There we go. And then under a stitch in the purse. And then up through this next stitch of the spot. And then we're just gonna go under a stitch in the purse to tie off. So before you pull that all the way through, take your yarn needle and tie your knot. And then we'll just take that yarn needle and poke it through the stuffing. Do a quick check, make sure I didn't go all the way through. Okay. Pull that through and then just kind of pull it a little bit while you snip off the excess. And then that tail will be hidden inside. And there we go, our funny little cow purse. And there you have it. And my clasp opens and shuts without any problems. And so we're ready to go.